Your first case was art was the aggravated robbery charge, right? Yeah. The dude that let me in the door, he let me in the door, told me about the place, told me about the safe, told me about the money, and I, it was all there. And he he helped me rob the place. I never mentioned his name one time. He was sitting with the prosecutor, uh, trying to help them give me thirty years. Yeah. And that happened. You know what I'm saying? I never to this day said his name. The judge even they knew somebody had to let me in the door, but I mean I told him I did it. I said, because when they had caught me, and I was going to cop out for the time, I said, they said, so you are you admitting to this? I said, yes, I'm admitting to this. Mm -hmm. I, I, I copped it. Because, I mean, it was either that or go to trial. And I mean, I wasn't going to a trial, roll my dice and take 30 years. So I just, you know, I copped out, took the time. Yeah. And I looked over at the guy in the courtroom. He was sitting with the prosecutor. He had his head, he hit his head down like this. He put his head. He couldn't look at me. Couldn't look at me. It's a true story. He couldn't look at me. His own mama was in the courtroom telling him he better not snitch, screaming it. Yeah. You, but what you doing over there with them? You bet not snitch. That's what she said. But you know, I mean, hey man, hey, I was green to the streets. Like I said, I never yep. experienced somebody snitching on me or somebody ratting me out. I, I, I never thought in my mind. I heard of it. I, I knew it was it, it existed, but not with me. You know what I'm saying? Not with yeah. people I move with. And you know, and really, my my circle was small, and my media people that I grew up with and came up with and came up under that never happened.